So if you want to grow an abundant garden with less effort and you want to maximize your harvest, you want to reduce landfill, you want to have a place to put your kitchen scraps, this is the solution you're looking for. Move aside, worm farm. We're over. This is the new love of my life. Worm kitchens. And I'm going to show you how to make your very own worm kitchen. Let's get our hands dirty. You'll notice the small black boxes dotted throughout the veg temples. And each veg temple has one per bed. These black boxes are essentially worm farms, but they're built in, integrated into the garden themselves. They're called worm kitchens, and they work just like their name says. The soil in them stays moist, so there's no more issues with drying out, no need to water them separately or manage that as an independent thing. Populations are growing every single day. That's because they've got the space to be able to sustain themselves. They're prominent and not tucked away. I'll see them so I never forget them, which makes tossing the weeds and waste into them and feeding the worms so super easy. The worms can come and go as they please. The worms come to it like a kitchen to feed and then they go and distribute their castings and aerate the soil so there's no need to manually harvest and distribute the worm castings there's no need to dig the garden to aerate the soil this is all happening naturally and without any effort from me it's just got the most perfect organic matter combined into it The soil on the left has come from my original worm farm and the soil on the right is the, what I've taken out of one of the worm kitchens and you can literally see the life. So let's talk about containers. You can use any container you've got including a bucket, whatever fits in your garden whatever suits your aesthetic for me the aesthetic is is pretty uh, you know streamlined and black and so that's why I went with these particular compost bins the other reason why I went with them is that they've got this nice lightweight lid but it has a rim on it which kind of secures it so that the wind doesn't pick it up and open up the worm kitchen the main thing is that whatever vessel you choose to make your worm kitchen out of, it needs to have a lid or some kind of structure over the top so that you're not getting direct sun in your worm kitchen. To make your worm kitchen, you're going to use two tools. One, a cordless drill or a drill of some nature, and two, a speed step drill. Now this is the bomb. It's totally worth the investment. About $20 you get three in a pack from the hardware. Um, I picked these up from Bunnings. This is the large of the speed step drills. We pop it in the drill. And we're ready to go. We're now going to turn this into a worm kitchen. First step, remove the handle. and then remove the lid. You want to have something that you are going to catch your shavings in. These are the shavings that you're going to end up with, so they will go everywhere. So I find having a little tray makes it a little bit neater. Let's go. And that's your process. Drill a hole, repeat, and keep drilling holes. It is that simple. 
Making your own worm kitchen is not a lot of work. It literally will take less than five minutes to make. It is so easy, anybody can do it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, share it with your friends so they can grow more for less. And you know, if you really want to know more about the worm kitchens, we have more amazing content available on the channel, including how to install your own worm kitchen and the story behind why worm kitchens work better than worm farms in a warm climate and if you're a lazy gardener like me. So have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Shine on.